On this channel, we like to uh, read you a random Bible chapter. That's right. On a Sunday, we like to uh, read the whole chapter. And, uh, you know, if you're headed off to church or you're watching this later after church and uh, your pastor just did a verse, well, good for him. He probably had a better message anyway. He probably had a better message. I don't. Nah, let's just, let's just read the whole chapter. Let's just read a whole random chapter today. If uh, if 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 you're uh, if you're if your guy, your church guy does uh videos, uh, leave uh leave his link down below. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I wanna. I'm always uh, I'm always interested in watching uh new people preach the preach the gospel. So let's go ahead and uh read a chapter here. Three, two. I want Genesis 49. Did you see how I ducked? I was trying to, I didn't know what we would get hit with. I just, I was, I was prepared for anything. All righty, Genesis 49. Then Jacob summoned his sons and said, Assemble yourselves that I may tell you what will befall you in the days to come. Gather together and hear, O sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel, your father. Your father, Reuben, you are my firstborn, you, my might, and the beginning of my strength, preeminent in dignity and preeminent, preeminent in power, uncontrolled as water. You shall not have preeminence, because you went up to your father's bed, then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Their swords are imp implements of violence. Let my soul not enter into their council. Let not my glory be united with their assembly. Because in their anger they slew men. And in their, their self-will they lamed oxen. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce. And their wrath, for it is cruel. I will disperse them in Jacob. And scatter them in Israel. Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down to you. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He couches, he lies down as a lion, and as a lion who dares rouse him up. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until Shiloh comes, and, tell him shall, and, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. He ties his fold to the vine, and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. He washes his garments in wine, and his robes in the blood of grapes. His eyes are dull from wine, and his teeth white from milk. Zebulun will dwell at the seashore, and he shall be a haven for ships, and his flank shall be toward Sidon. Issachar is a strong donkey lying down between the sheepfolds. When he saw that a resting place was good and that the land was pleasant, he bowed his sho shoulder to bear burdens and became a slave at forced labor. Dan shall judge his people and, uh, and one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent in the way, a horned snake in the path that bites the horse's heels so that his rider falls backward. For your salvation I wait, O Lord, as for Gad, raiders shall raid him, but he will raid at their heels. As for Asher, his food shall be rich, and he will yield royal dainties. Neptali is a doe let loose. He gives beautiful words. Joseph is a fruit bow, a fruitful bow by a spring. Its branches run, all, run over a wall. The archers bitterly attacked him and shot at him and harassed him, but his bow remained firm and his arms were agile. From the hands of the mighty one of Jacob, from there is, a, from there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. From the God of your father who helps you and by the almighty who blesses you with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lies beneath, blessings of the breast and of the womb, the blessing of your father have suppressed the blessings of my ancestor, up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. May they be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of the one distinguished among his brothers. 
Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he devours the prey, and in the evening he divides the spoil. All these are the twelve tribes of, of Israel, and this is what their father said to them when he blessed them. He blessed them, everyone, with the blessing appropriate to him. Then he charged them and said to them, I am about to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephron the Hittite, in the cave that is in the field of Mechpelah, which is before Mam- Mamre. You know that place? In the land of Canaan which Abraham brought along with the field from Ephron the Hittite for a burial site. There they buried Abraham and his wife Sarah, and there they buried Isaac and his wife Rebekah, and there I buried Leah. The field and the cave that is in it purchased from the sons of Heth. When Jacob finished charging his sons, he drew his feet into the bed and breathed his last and was gathered to his people. All right. Well, there you go. The uh, the blessings of the sons of Israel. Genesis 49, or prophecy. Prophecy concerning his sons. Genesis 49. There you go. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on the random chapter of the day. <laughs>